Hello and welcome to Trimble TVC Survey and Construction Channel. My name is Hughes. I'm your host of this video. In this video, I will demonstrate some of the new tunneling functionalities introduced to TVC version 5 in the tunneling module. Without further ado, let's start. In this video, I will demonstrate the creation of SBuild Tunnel Mesh using point clouds. This will allow the user to easily inspect the interface of a tunnel against the tunnel design. As shown on the screen right now, this is a point cloud collected by Trimble Scanning Total Station SX10. The job file and the tunnel design are imported already into TBC 5.0, as you can see here. There is a GXL file from SX10 and um, TXL file that contains a tunnel. Uh, tunnel design. I have already created a point cloud region as I'm going to show it to you right now. That it only contains the tunnel itself, as you can see. This is a representation of the tunnel. And um, at the bottom of the tunnel, I'm highlighting the, uh, the alignment of this tunnel. In previous videos, you probably have seen how to create a design tunnel mesh, which is a representation of um, the tunnel design. So the idea is to create such a mesh that represents what the tunnel actually looks like during or after the construction. So let's have a look at how to actually create this tunnel mesh. First of all, let me uh, turn off the design tunnel mesh and turn on the tunnel point cloud again. So if we navigate to the tunnel tab and under the view group, we'll be able to find the icon for SPL tunnel mesh. In this command, we'll be prompt to enter some information of the uh, as-built tunnel mesh. First of all, let's give it a name, call it as-built, or maybe as-built mesh. This mesh will be based on the same tunnel, the same tunnel shape, and let's give it a different layer and call it as-built layer, or as-built mesh. And let's assign it to a different color as well and hit close. Um, now, we'll, now we'll be select the member to form the mesh. So we're basically using the entire point cloud, uh, or I should say the entire point cloud of the, of the face of the tunnel as the member. So let's select that. Um, after that, we'll be given a, a, a chance to uh, sample down the point cloud. If you have a very dense point cloud like this one, you probably want to sample it down so that uh, the processing time will get a little bit faster. However, the trade-off is that you will lose some details in your uh, in your S-Build tunnel mesh. Um, this is totally up to you. If uh, if you have a if you have a high spec computer that can run the calculation very fast, you are more than welcome to not sample down at all. But in this case, I will sample it down to, let's say, 0 0.0.2 uh, meter spacing by uh, spatially sampling. And let's hit OK or Apply. As you can see, the uh, SBuild Tunnel Mesh is now generated. Um, let's get out of the command and um, also turn off the uh, point clouds. We'll see a pretty nice little mesh here that represents the, uh, the SBuild Tunnel. To uh, further inspect the tunnel, we'll be, uh, we'll be using the, uh, the Tunnel View command which is located also in the view group. All 
by dragging along by dragging along the slide bar we'll see a red we'll see a red um, outlines that showed up this is um, this is this red outline is the representation of the uh, SPL tunnel mesh so user is able to see the outline of the uh, the, the outline of the uh, S build comparing to the comparing to the um, uh, design at any any desired station name. Sometimes the uh, S build tunnel mesh, as outlined in the red box here, can be confusing if the tunnel has any circular uh, constructions uh, in the design. To change the display color of the uh, SPL tunnel mesh in tunnel view will be a good way to distinguish any circular part of design and um, the tunnel mesh cross section, which can be done by going into the settings here at the bottom right corner and select the SPL tunnel mesh color. And let's turn it into green and hit OK. And now the SPL tunnel mesh is represented in color of green. If we happen to have a circular part uh, or any radius present in the tunnel design, uh, now there will be no confusion between them. <laughs>